How's it going everybody, it's the Chicago Geographer here, and welcome to another 10 country challenge attempt on a diverse world. This is attempt number 4 on the channel, and I'm hoping for some good luck today, some good rounds, uh, we can get some momentum going, and hopefully get 10 in a row. Uh, that's of course a very lofty goal, it's quite difficult to do, but I have um, good hopes for this one. So, Parada de Taxi Flet. Okay. Interesting. I don't know what language that is. Probably Spanish. Yeah, it is Spanish. Um, so, if it's Spanish, um, if the sun is... Uh, where's the sun? It's kind of north, actually. So if the sun is north and it's Spanish, I think this will be Argentina. I think so. Go there, and we'll see if that's right. Beautiful. It was Argentina. Cool. Uh, I'll take that. So, a good way to start this one out. One country down. Nine more to go. Alright. This one is Bangladesh. It's absolutely... Bangladesh. Um, yeah, it's gotta be. I'll click there. And there you go. Alright, two countries down. We've had some pretty easy rounds so far. Um, not super easy, but they've been manageable. Um, okay, what in the world? Very interesting landscape here. Just super random hills. It's tropical. Um, the sun is in the north, kind of. It's kind of just directly overhead, so not the greatest clue there. Wow, this is a tough one for sure. Oh boy. Um, now what countries could this be? There's definitely a wide range of, um foliage going on. We've got tropical plants here. We've got pine trees up on the hills. We've got um, kind of just normal deciduous looking trees in the fields. Uh, it's everything you can think of all in one place. Now the only place I can think of that really works that way is... I, I don't know actually. I This is very interesting. Very interesting. Are we driving on the left? Oh, we might be on the left. Could this be New Zealand? New Zealand! Could be New Zealand! Yeah! Because that bus or truck it looks like it's on the left. It kind of does, right? Unless my eyes are playing tricks on me. Um, yeah, I don't... I think I'm going to go New Zealand here. I'll go fairly north. I'll go up here in New Zealand. That's not fairly north. That's about as far north as you can get. But I think this might be New Zealand. I don't know. Let's see. Beautiful, thank you. Um, awesome, yeah, that was the only country, really, where I could think that um, it's mountainous. There's all different kinds of foliage. Yeah, and we were driving on the left, it looked like. So, yeah, there we go. Cool. Three in a row. Let's keep this up. We're doing pretty well here. Uh, next round is... Wow, beautiful clouds. Amazing looking. Simply just stunning, wherever this is. Um, oh, this might be Spain. I know Spain kind of numbers their roads slash state abbreviations kind of like that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking here. Oh boy, what does that say? I don't know what that is can't really make out what language that is. It could be Spanish. It's hard to say from back here. Because you don't really know exactly what letters they are. It's kind of hard to tell, but it easily could be Spanish. I can see that being Spanish, so... Yeah, I might go Spain here. I'm gonna do it. Um, I don't even know where in Spain. I guess I'll just kind of click there. And we'll see if that's right. I'll move it up a little bit. Um, Portugal is the... That's the big one that's getting in the way here of me being 100% certain. And really, I'm not even sure it could be this Spain. It could be somewhere that's not Iberian Peninsula at all. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going Spain, though. If my streak ends here, I won't be surprised, but um, I hope it doesn't. Here we go. 
Yes, thank you, it was Spain. Okay, that's good. And yeah, the B... Did that say BR on the sign? I probably should have known that. Um, or BP. Yeah, that probably means Barcelona or something to do with it. Um, yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure how it works in Spain. I never really get Spain, but we got it right. Four countries in a row. This is good. Uh, this is very good so far. I'm happy with this a lot. So, oh boy. Now this one is a wrench in the machine for sure. Uh, the sun is... It's north. Is it north? It's hard to tell. It's not the greatest clue. Um, it's definitely pretty semi-arid landscape. It's dusty and dry. Now, USA is coming to mind, but the road isn't exactly right. It kind of is with these double yellow. It's just a little bit faded and kind of weird looking. Um... But I could see this being USA. No, well, oh, this is really tough. Now, USA is obviously the one that I'm jumping to go for. That's what I'm thinking. But something about this is just telling me it isn't. It seems foreign somehow. Oh, boy. This is a tough one. It really is. If the sun is truly in the north, which it does seem to be, um, it seems like the sun's setting in the west. Yeah, it's setting, so that would mean the sun was in the north going across the sky. So that's going to make it southern hemisphere. And I'm thinking South Africa now from that, based on the road as well. Oh boy, this is tough. It really is, because there's so many places it could be. USA, it better not be there. I'll be very sad if it is because, um, I don't even know. I can't, usually in the USA, there's a couple states that I have in mind. This one, it doesn't really match with any state I can think of. So it's not going to be USA. It's got to be South Africa. It's Southern Hemisphere. Come on. Please, please be South Africa. I'd like to keep my streak up here. If not, it's whatever. We'll start over, but um, I'm hoping for the best here. Come on. Please. Please be South Africa. Oh my god. <laughs> it was USA. You're kidding me. I should have known. It was Wyoming. Oh, I feel so stupid now for literally saying USA. I guess it was... I, I don't even understand, man. Why? I shouldn't have changed my mind. We were in the Wind River um, Native American Reservation in Wyoming. Crap. That explains why it looks so off the beaten path and different from the USA. Well, not different, but just something a little bit more um, foreign about it. Not... Americanized, I guess. We had four in a row, and I should have stuck with my instinct. I would have gone Wyoming, too, had I done USA. But, well, we had four good rounds in a row, and then USA kind of screwed us over. Let's do this again. We've got to start up another streak here. All right, so let's start up another streak. Um, we can definitely do better than the last time. Uh, I can't believe I screwed up South Africa and the USA like that. The double yellow lines, too. Ugh, I completely just glossed over them. Damn it. Alright, well, here we go. Back from square one. Um, PYC glass and aluminum. Sliding windows. Um, Kitty's Bakehouse. Fresh oven-baked goodies all the time. That sounds great. Um, <laughs> now, this kind of reminds me of the Jollibee character which is a Filipino fast food chain, which we have um, a couple of in the Chicago area, um, believe it or not. But, I don't know. We've got English writing, too. Um, Kitty Bakehouse. I don't... The weird... The German spelling of house, as well, is just kind of throwing me off here. I don't... I don't understand this at all. This is a really weird location. Um... 
I don't know. I really don't know about this one. All the English. What is with all the English? Senor Pedro FCB. It's yeah, Philips, Filipino Central Bank is probably what that means, so it's got to be the Philippines. Uh, and this place is definitely trying to copy Jollibee, so here we go. Excellent. We weren't even that far off either. 4609, pretty good score, and we got the right country, so good stuff. If I had just gone with the freaking USA, listened to my gut, we would have had six in a row. I'm so disappointed about that. Uh, we're in South Korea here. Come on, that's that's seven in a row. There we go. Um, <laughs> oh God, seven. We would have had seven in a row had I gone for USA, and we would have been about to break my record for countries in a row. Oh man, that sucks. That really does. That hurts. It really hurts when you know you were gonna do it and you change your mind. It's too bad. Anyway, I gotta stop talking about it. Um, <laughs> where is this? Now this one actually might break my streak again. Um, wow, what could this be? Uh, it's kind of desertish. Um, it's hilly. It's desert-like. Is this Israel? Jordan? I don't know. Where's the sun? Um. It's kind of south, so Northern Hemisphere does line up with Middle East. Um, oh boy. I don't think this is... I don't think this is like a Spanish-speaking place. Somehow that it doesn't seem to fit. And I also don't think this is in Europe. I don't know. It doesn't seem right. I am going to take a wild guess here. I'm going to go Jordan. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go right about there. Um, that's probably a really bad idea. I hope, if it's not Jordan, I hope it's Israel so that I at least don't look like an idiot. Um, <laughs> but you never know. We're just gonna have to see. Sometimes you gotta take crazy guesses. Let's see if I get this right. And if I get this right, I would have broken my record with eight countries in a row had I gone for Wyoming in round five. But here we go. Let's see where this is. Oh, okay. It was Israel. I had the right idea there, but... Ah, oh, man. That's a good guess, though. 34 miles. Uh, I had the wrong country, but, wow, you know... I don't know. Is that insane? That's not really insane, is it? It's it's, it's good, but it's not, like, insane calibers. Not the right country, but... That breaks our streak again, but oh well. Uh, let's finish out this game. This um, last two rounds here. Um and see where we are. We're going to be most likely in Brazil here. Okay, good. And the last round um, for this video is Spanish speaking again. Um, sun is in the north. So, is it Spanish? A pedicure. It's Brazil again think. Right? Gotta be. Yep, there it is, Brazil again. So, uh, two Brazil rounds to close out the video. The freaking Wyoming, South Africa screw up. I am i don't think I'll ever get over that. Again, the silver lining is that if um, I had gotten that, then I would have gotten this wrong because I got Jordan instead of Israel slash West Bank. Um, but then I got the last two right. So really, just two that I messed up Two that I almost had right, because I mentioned the right countries both times. I almost had the 10 country challenge in the bag this episode, which is a good feeling. So, very soon, I should have it. I should get it done. So, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed, leave a like down below. Uh, thank you for making it all the way through the video. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. See you next time.